All right. So it's uh, 22nd December 2015, and uh, yeah, off for a uh, off for the bike ride now. Just about to head off. All packed up. Weighing in at 44, 45 kilos. So uh, that's with the bike. So quite heavy. It's going to be interesting to see how we go. I'll uh, I'll keep you updated as we go. Time for an update. So it's uh, day day three now, Wednesday, and um, I've had three days on the road now. Just came into Canberra. You can see the lake there behind me. I think Lake Burley Griffin, it's called. So it's been a, a couple of tough days, but I really can't stay and start to explain how awesome I feel having gotten to Canberra. It just uh, feels great. It feels <laughs> seems like the more more pain you put yourself through, the more suffering you put yourself through, end up the better you end up feeling. It's uh, pretty amazing. Stopped off in Queen Bianne, got some got some new bits and pieces. Got an iPhone 5 cover there for my phone so that I can see the screen. So when people text, message, or um, or call, I can see who it is without uh, taking the, the phone out. And um, seems to be going okay. The, oh, and I've also bought a uh, a bag there for the front just to put bits and pieces in, don't know if you can see it, there we go. It's also got a spot for a map holder on the top and that's so that I don't have to wear my bum bag as well. So the, the panniers and everything are going great, thanks to Ian, what a champion. If you ever get a chance, stop in for coffee up the top of uh, the pass there, a true champion. Got Found a Santa hat so I strapped that to the back of the bike and uh yeah it's bike's going really good um really really good actually i think it's the third day i'm just starting to feel like my legs are coming good uh like touring wise and it's got a lot to do with the mindset obviously but uh yeah everything's good just waiting for lana sister pick me up um she's about 17 minutes away and we're going to head over to mum's at tumut for Christmas, so I just kick back. So have a, uh, and I'll, I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. Hey guys, a couple of days since I've vlogged in now, it's now the Monday the 29th of December and we're on to day 6 or stage 6, stage 6, 3, 4, no, day 5, stage 5 and uh, yeah we had a couple of days in Christmas, uh, a couple of days at mum's for Christmas in Tumut uh, that was good. I was only going to stay for two, but ended up on the third day. Had a few jobs around the farm to do, so that was uh, that was fun. We got that done, and and uh, last yesterday I rode from Tumut or Goobagandra out to uh, past Blowering Dam out to Talbingo, and got a cabin for the night in Talbingo, and uh, yeah, went to the had a good night actually. Went to the pub, met a couple of uh, met the really nice publican and. Had a few beers, end up staying back until uh, after close with, you know, for staffies and stuff. So, um, a, you know, good night and it was quite uh, inexpensive because he started giving me free beers. So that was great. Ever in Talbot, go go and see Dave at the uh, bar and steakhouse. So it was quite cool. And tonight, uh, today we've had a, a short kilometres day and a friggin' hard ride though. It was only 30, 30 something K. But uh, straight out of Tiang Bingo, Bingo Mountain, absolute uh, monster of a climb. A monster of a climb. So uh, steep, 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 hot. 
and I was pretty much climbing all the way and took us a couple of little downhills until we got to where we are now and we're at um, Yurungabili campsite. So the bike there in the background, um, got the tent, let's give you a look, got the set up, got the little two man tent there, Black Wolf, quite a little thing, I tell you what, you wouldn't, it's good for, great for one person, but uh, two people, you'd have to be awfully friendly, big girl behind me there, still going, going great guns, uh, yeah, great day, uh, the weather's come good now, had a bit of rain throughout the afternoon, but it's about 6 o'clock now, 6.30, had dinner, and yeah, having, having a ball, so tomorrow, uh, stage 6, heading from here out to uh, Adaminibi, Adaminibi, so right in the middle of Kosciuszko National Park at the moment, so having fun, and yeah, I'll log in, uh, log in tomorrow maybe and uh, let you know how we're going. Have a good one. Stage seven today. We're uh, I'm just outside of Kuma. I uh, spent the last night uh, last night in Adaminibi. Got a cabin. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, done about oh 50, 50 k's this morning. And just as I was coming into Kuma, saw a little uh, turn off to a uh, to look out so thought we'd pop up here and have a look it's pretty amazing i tell you what it was about uh, 17 percent coming up to the lookout so front wheel wanted to come off the ground made an easy day quite tough that's what we like so just looking over my shoulder here we've got uh, kuma gonna stay down there tonight and then uh, head out towards Bega tomorrow so uh, having fun great weather today you can see top of the world but uh yeah Talk soon. Bit of a funny story to finish off with. Um, got up this morning in Kuma, nice and early, and headed off. Uh, about 20 k's in, I decided to pull over for a, uh, a rest stop. And uh, during that time, I had a look at the map, and <laughs> funnily enough, I'd been going the wrong way. So instead of going to down to Bega, headed to, towards Canberra. So I thought, stuff it, kept going. And uh, yeah, about 50 k's in, found myself another rest stop here. It's uh, well over 30 degrees, and I've uh, I've had enough. So Lana's on her way, sister, and uh, she's gonna pick us up and, uh, and head home. So done for the day. Great time, really enjoyed it. See you in my next adventure.